Lars. Did you meet Sting before he joined AEW before? And did you mark out when you met him? Because I'm I'm a Sting guy myself. I'm a WCW NWA right. guy. And I like I'm eight or nine when I met him the first time at center stage in Atlanta, Georgia. And it, it, our, I guess that's my question there. I'll wrap it up there. Yeah, no, I so I, I've been very lucky in my in my career of professional wrestling. You know, I, I've done it. Uh, July will be 22 years for me. Um, and, you know, only about the first four, four and a half years were spent on just the independence in Texas. Um, and then I got signed on with, the, it's now Impact Wrestling, but it was TNA Wrestling back then. And he joined TNA and actually, you know, he came in and did a few spot shots and actually got to film, be a part of one of the, the little movies he made. I can't remember the title of the movie, but it was kind of about his life and his faith and things like that. And, you know, we got to do a scene where it was kind of like a dream sequence scene and he's in a ring and, you know, everybody's up on these corners and whatnot. I got to hit him with a chair and I was like, I can retire right now. I got to hit Sting with a chair, you know, was, <laughs> for me, it was just the coolest thing, you know, and he was nothing but cool. Um, you know, I do remember a few times, you know, after he did sign on full time with TNA and, you know, I didn't know where my career was going as far as TNA was concerned or the business of wrestling was concerned. And there was a moment when I had to have a, you know, a real, heart to heart with myself and kind of trying to decide what I wanted to do in the business. And, you know, I reached out to him and he actually called me and we talked about it and he gave me a lot of thoughts and advice. And, you know, they always say, you know, not always, but they try to say, sometimes you don't want to meet your heroes because they'll disappoint you. Um, he's never, never disappointed. He's always been a good, genuine dude. He's always willing to give advice and talk to you if he's got the time. Um, he's, you know, never, ever big time to me or anybody I've ever heard that he's, you know, treated that way. Um, so it's been absolutely cool from, like I said, from the TNA days, now getting to work with him again at AEW. I'd hope for it. I'd, I'd ask for a match back in TNA with him. Uh, it didn't happen. I'm, I'm hoping that uh, at some point before he retires, you know, maybe I'll be his retirement match. And, you know, you know everybody dies. So Murderhawk Monster takes out Sting. You know, who knows?